Hi folks, welcome back to ABC. Today's going to be another one choose review for Drake's e-liquid. The last two Sundays I've done two flavours from the new tobacco fusion range. Today I'm going to be doing the third one. Now Drake's, as you know, they're really well known for the naturally extracted tobaccos. I've reviewed most of the flavours of the last two years. This new range was introduced this September. There's six flavours in the new range. I was sent four of them from Drake's. Big thank you to Drake's. The Tobacco Fusion range is going to be 100% naturally extracted tobacco but infused with other flavours. I've done coffee one. I've done the peppermint last week. And this one is going to be a whiskey infusion. So yeah, today's juice will be Williams Whiskey. So yeah, Williams Whiskey is going to be a 60-40 VGPG mix. I'm going to read off the website. It's going to be a combination of Greek and Polish Basma Oriental Tobacco with a naturally extracted Scottish single malt whiskey. Got it on my True Tank from EH Pro and Nature Vape. The coil in here is as always one from Nature Vape. There'll be specs here about that coil. As you know, Nature Vape provided coils for my reviews. So big thanks again to Nature Vape for that. This one is coming out at 1.1 ohm. Gonna fire it at 13 watts. Let's give Williams whiskey a quick taste. Now, Williams Whiskey, again, I've been vaping this for about a week now. And straight away, I'm getting that nice oriental blend. A slightly spicy tobacco. A slightly earthy. I've not tried any Polish Basma oriental before. But from what I know about the Polish tobacco sort of trade, a lot of the tobaccos are blended with a Virginia I do believe there may be a slight blend of Virginia mixed in with this one. Because yes, I am getting that oriental, sort of spicy, earthy sort of flavour. But then I'm also getting a slight sweetness, which to me means there may well be a Virginia tobacco mixed in with this one. The Scottish malt whiskey. Now, I'm not big on whiskies. I like whiskey, but I'm not good on all the different flavours. But I am getting mixed in with that tobacco, a nice whiskey flavour. Slightly caramel whiskey with a slight nuttiness to it. On my initial inhale, I'm getting oriental tobacco. And then straight away, I'm getting that whiskey mixed in with it. That whiskey. It's quite a mellow whiskey. It's not strong. Just really nice. Like I said, it's got a slight caramel and a slight nuttiness to it and a slight oaky barrel, obviously. But yeah, it's not a strong whiskey. Like they say, it's going to be a single malt whiskey. But like I said, the Oriental is the first flavour I'm getting. A nice, spicy, earthy tobacco. But then I'm getting a slight sweetness as well. That sweetness for me does remind me of a Virginia tobacco. So there may well be a Virginia tobacco mixed in this one. I do know that Polish tobacco, they do use a lot of Virginia. They use a thing called a hot pipe to dry it out. A really, really nice oriental. It's not too spicy. It's just there. It's blending really nicely with that whiskey, giving it a really mellow vape. This is not too powerful. It is a nice, mild, mellow tobacco vape. My aftertaste is going to be a slight sweet tobacco and a caramel sort of flavour for the whiskey. Really nice. One I could vape all day, quite easy, without getting sick of it. But really, really, I do like the whiskey in this one. If 
if you're a big whiskey fan and obviously tobacco fan, you'll like this one. It's like I said, it's not overpowering. It's a really mellow vape. One that you can vape all day quite easy. Sun tobaccos can be really strong. Sun tobacco vapes are really nice in the morning. Some are more mellow for like in the evening. This one though, I can vape all day quite easy. Yeah guys, I do like that one. And that was the Williams Whiskey. Now Dregs, as you know, they do a lot of different sort of styles. They do 10 mil bottles. They do 30 mil bottles, which is really like three by 10. They do 50 mil short fills, 100 mil short fills and concentrates. Like I said, this new range has six flavors. I've got four of them, got one more to do next week. And maybe in the new year, I'll get the last two. But yeah, for me so far, out of the three I've tried, which was a Calico's Coffee, last week was Payne's Peppermint, and this week I've done the Williams Whiskey. Still, for me, my favourite would be the first one, the Calico's Coffee, because I like a nice coffee vape, and I like a nice tobacco vape. That was a really nice blend. Last week's Payne's Peppermint was really nice. This one, again, is really nice. It's a nice, mild, mellow tobacco vape. Not too strong a whiskey nice and mild in the background really pleasant really smooth vape guys so yeah there we are that was a review for drake's tobacco fusion williams whiskey as you know i can't put a link down below to any third party sites but down below is a link to my website on my website there is a vendors page on the vendors page drake's already there nature vapes coils again they're on my website on the vendors page and yeah, guys and girls, hope you like the video. Do you like the video? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give me a thumbs down. If you're new to me here on this channel, why not subscribe down below to see more from me. The last three weeks, my reviews have been hit and miss. I've been really, really busy at work. I'm a chef. My wife's a chef. It's Christmas time. So it's been really, really busy. So I've not done a lot of reviews, but going forward from this end of the week, I was sort of catching up more. So yeah. Hope you'll have a good Christmas and I will see you all next time.